After a two-year hiatus, the National Principals Association, NPA, held its 38th annual education conference under the theme, Reinventing, Reorienting, Recharging, the Evolving Roles of Educational Leaders. This principals conference, championed by the executive of the NPA, serves as a space for school administrative leaders to meet, share ideas, and engage with their colleagues and top-level management and officials from the Ministry of Education. At the head table sat the Minister with Responsibility for Education, Honorable Sean Edward, Parliamentary Secretary, Senator the Honorable Dr. Pauline Antoine, esteemed guest and keynote speaker, Honorable Dr. Kennedy Anthony, and the President of the National Principals Association, Valerie St. Helen Henry. In her welcome address, President St. Helen Henry spoke to the mandate of the NPA and its role to support and educate members while improving and building relationships with stakeholders. The theme for this year, she says, is timely, urging critical reflection and embracing change. We are here collectively to refresh our thinking, retool ourselves as we aim to improve our practices as it relates to educational leadership. We need to help to ignite the passion in order to strategically bridge the gap as it is not business as usual. So, we are here to reflect as well as to celebrate our achievements. Former Prime Minister of St. Lucia and educator, Honorable Dr. Kennedy Anthony, in delivering his feature address, highlighted areas of concern for the education sector. Dr. Anthony insists that it cannot be business as usual for policy and administrative leaders in the education system, saying for St. Lucia to remain flexible and responsive to the times, greater emphasis has to be placed on reassessing the pillars that the education system of today was built on and safeguarding the social and emotional welfare of key players. The exodus from the teaching profession is deeply worrisome. Far too many teachers have exited the teaching service before the prescribed age of retirement. Some prefer retirement to the daily harassment in the classroom, the constant challenge to authority and to discipline, the difficulty of maintaining interest and passion in education. All of these developments mean that the traditional roles of principals have changed. Principals are no longer just the fountains of authority, the enforcer of discipline, the source of knowledge, the guide, and the counselor. Now, more than ever before, principals must invest in inspiring not just their students, but also their teachers. It would seem that teachers need as much counseling as the students they teach. The conference comes on the heels of a meeting held between leaders of the Ministry of Education and the National Principals Association as they work to collaboratively address issues of security, school maintenance, examinations, and the general welfare of teachers and students. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training, I am Daniel Dubois reporting.